let us look at the k map now so you have f a b c d four variables k map so four variables means you have to draw 16 uh, cells okay 2 to the power n 2 to the power 4 is equal to 16 so we have drawn 16 cells here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 okay now since the variable names are a b c d you are going to mark it as a b and c d if it is a different variable name mark it like that if it is x y z then mark it like that now mark a b on all the rows and c d on all the columns okay so first it will be a complement b complement we are doing sum of products so a complement b complement a complement b a b complement then we have c complement d complement c complement and then we have d complement after this you do the numbering so for the numbering we have to do from 0 so it will be from 0 to 15 so whenever there is a complement complement means it is a 0 so here it will be um, 0 0 it will be 0 1 okay it will be 1 1 because there is no complement and this will be 1 0 and here on the top it will be again it will be 1 uh, 0 0 and it will be 0 1 but I wrote it wrong so it's okay 1 and, and then 1 0 okay there is a mistake there that's okay if it is asked you can do otherwise normally it is not asked 0 0 just to know now we have to cross multiply these numbers names so it is the row and the column so it is a complement b complement c complement d complement again a complement b complement c complement d then we have a complement b complement c d so what is there on the top that we have to write c d and c d complement so we have to do it for the all the cells so easy way is uh, this if you can do it without mistake you can you need not write this but it is a good practice to write because it is easier then so this will be c complement d c d and c d complement then we have a b a b a b like this you can write the whole the row number names then you write the column names so it's clear c complement c d complement and now again you have a b complement write it in all the rows and just fill the what is there in the column so on the top you have c complement d complement again you have c complement d c d and c d complement after this we are going to do the marking of the numbers since we are starting from 0 it will be till 15 0 in the last 2 and then 3 okay second row it will be 4 5 last you have to write 6 don't make a mistake write 6 there and then here 7 and then in a hurry when we write we make mistakes like that be careful then leave one row then the fourth row write it as 8 8 after 7 we have 8 9 10 and 11 then fill the third row it will be 12 13 the last row it will be 14 and then 15 after so much is done the marking is done now we should always remember that when we are going to mark the numbers here for the SOP SOP will consist of ones ok so as a revision I am putting it in a bigger box here so you can just see here again once again yes ok here it will be B complement so in the exam no need to put zeros and ones and all you can just mark so much C complement D complement C complement D and C D and C D complement so we have now 0 1 last column 2 then 3 and then we have 4 5 6 and 7 and then we have 8 9 11 okay, and 10 and 12 13 14 and 15 after you do this okay now always there are 
three things which is there in K map which you need to remember. One is known as when you are marking if there are eight ones. Okay, always the larger number should be marked first. Remember that. Don't go to mark the pairs first. Mark the octet first. So, if there are eight ones, it is known as octet. Okay, if there are eight ones, it is known as octet. Four ones, it is called as quad, adjacent ones. And two ones, it is known as pair. So, one major thing you have to remember is always go from, if octet is not there, look for quad. If quad is not there, look for pair. Don't go to mark the pairs first. And if there is only one single cell, do that also. Okay, that will mean the last. Remember this order. And there might be some overlapping pairs also. Yes, so here you have this. So I am showing you what is a quad. If there are four adjacent ones like this. This is known as a quad. Okay, so mark the four quad, four numbers and name it as quad. So if there are two quads, write as quad one, quad two. Yes, so here you have quad one. So mark it as quad one. If there is eight numbers, let us say if you are having eight numbers. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That is known as octet. Okay. And if there are two numbers, it is known as pair. Okay. So sometimes you may have one number which is overlapping. That is for example, if there is a 1 here, okay, then you can see that there is already a quad, but we can make it as a pair. You don't make it as a single cell. Remember, first octet, then quad, and then pair, and then only a single cell. So, if you can make it as a pair, make it as a pair first. Okay, this is clear. So, here I am just showing you the overlapping uh, Pair, overlapping variables so you can see here 1 2 3 4 this will be a quad okay this will be a pair here also if it is you have to make it as a pair okay and this will be a top if you see this will be a single cell okay because it cannot be paired with anything this is clear and apart from that you have something known as map rolling so in map rolling the edges are actually paired okay it is like folding the paper on both the sides and then imagining that there are those four are one quad okay so here I'm just showing you there's one more thing cell I've left out but doesn't matter so if you see there on the edges are there so you can see that this paper can be actually folded like this as the as one four ones so that is known as map rolling or it can be folded the other way horizontal or vertical way so sometimes we have problems like this you have to not leave it